Welcome sweet friends to the channel Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul. We are an early retirement, debt and mortgage free couple living in the state of New York. And our channel basically shows you how to live a full abundant life all the while spending less money. And today's video, we're going to be showing you just that. Today is Tuesday, which means it's viewer's choice or challenge. And two of the topics we are covering today are highly requested topics. So many so that there were so many people who have emailed me and left me comments that I figured we would just say thank you to all of you who gave these two suggestions. The first one is how do Paul and I save money on our pets? Dixie and our semi-feral cat, Loris. And we're gonna tell you how we do that. The other highly requested video that I get over and over is my nails. What do I do with my nails? Do I go get a manicure? Do I do it at home? Do I use gel? Do I use regular nail polish? So we're gonna go into that just a little bit. And finally, we're going to share a recipe for a fresh mango salsa. When you see how economical this recipe is, you're gonna be blown away because if you've ever seen how much a jar of mango salsa or any kind of specialty salsa in the store costs, you know exactly what we're talking about. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is Dixie and Loris. Dixie is our rescue dog. We got her at three months old from a kill shelter down south and she was brought up to us. She came up in like a little air conditioned minivan and she was three months old and she's just the apple of our eye. Can't even tell you this little dog. And then we have Loris, our cat. We were here one day, Loris literally showed up at our door as a kitten. I have no idea where he came from. We asked around, we called vets, nothing. He came, he never left. He is semi-feral though, meaning he is very uncomfortable in the house. He wants to get out when he's in here. Paul did build a heated cat box outside for him when it gets super cold and he refuses to come in the house. At least he's warm and safe outside. I'm gonna preface this segment by saying, we treat our animals as if they are part of the family. We do not treat them like animals, I guess you could say, we take very good care of them. We don't try to be frugal and save money when it comes to their health or their well-being. They have fresh water 24 hours a day. They go for physicals once a year, have all their shots. What do we do to save money on Dixie? Is we groom her ourselves. Let me show you what I mean. This is what we use to trim Dixie. We did buy it off of Amazon and it has been great. Dixie is an exceptional kind of dog. She loves to be groomed. So take that into consideration. She is all ready and waiting. <laughs> She's the funniest little dog. We are using a six millimeter for Dixie. Her hair is long and you can see she loves this. Come here, you. And we just gently go over her coat. You have to know your pet. You don't try this on a dog that you think would be anxious or upset. And as you can see, oh it takes a lot of hair off. This time of year, we have to keep her groomed. We did take her to the groomer once and it was upwards of a hundred dollars to get her trimmed in the spring. And her anxiety was through the roof. We never ever did it again. And as you can see, this is so much better for her. It's non-traumatic, super easy. But again, this is the kind of dog she is. You can see how shaggy her hair is right here. Dixie, is daddy doing pretty girl with you? There's hair everywhere. We always do this out on the deck because it's just a little bit easier. Dixie, are you all trimmed? Did you have fun? 
Yes, you look adorable. Dixie, getting... can you show everybody your new haircut and how pretty you look? Do you have a pretty flower on? Do you? What a pretty girl. That works for us and it works for her. That kit we showed you, we bought off Amazon. I think we paid $30 for it. Maybe even less. Yeah, it was not a lot. The hundreds and hundreds, now it's thousands of dollars we have saved using it with her. It is just perfect. Now we do not cut her nails ourselves. She's got these funny little dew claws on her toes, these little tiny nails in the back. They're, they're difficult for us to do. Again, we don't want to make her uncomfortable, so we do take her to the vet for her nail trim. Another thing we don't spend money on are dog treats, and I've talked to you about this before. The only treats Dixie gets, other than her food, which we'll show you in a minute, are dog-safe fruits. Know which fruits are safe and know which fruits are poisonous to dogs before you give them anything and she loves lettuce and she loves carrots. Those are her treats. So that is another way we save money. Now we do buy better quality dog food and this is not a debate. And please don't tell us that that's not good food for her or why are you feeding that? This is what we feed her. She is healthy. Matter of fact, she just had her physical. She's a perfect weight. She's 20 pounds right where she should be. She's healthy. She's regular. She's, she's a happy little puppy. This is the food we do feed Dixie. Now this is no controversy. I'm sharing what we buy. She gets Blue Buffalo Life Protection Formula, the healthy weight. The reason we do this is because she's not a runner, Dixie. She does not go outside and like wanna run around for hours because she doesn't really like grass. I know, I know, what dog doesn't like grass? This is what we get her. We do buy it in the 30 pound bag. It works for her. She is healthy. She's five years old. This has just been a great food for her. We pay $57 approximately for those 30 pound bags. And Dixie gets just a little over a cup of food a day. So that is perfect for her. I don't have the bag for Loris, but we give Loris Blue Buffalo as well. The adult cat formula one. I don't have the bag because we dump his in a container to keep it fresh. Yes, it costs a little more, but they are healthy and they are happy. We look at this food as preventive medicine. They're healthy, you're staying out of the vet. Neither one of them eats soft food. Food. Loris could care less about it. Dixie would eat it if we gave it to her, but there's really no need. She loves her dry food. It's good for her again. We do not buy pet insurance. Our pet insurance is we take care of our animals. We make sure they get their regular physicals. They have lots of fresh, clean water. They're warm. They get good sleep at night. I know this sounds funny, but it's the truth. We treat them as if they are a member of our family, and that in turn keeps them out of the vet and keeps them healthy. I am going to say this, and please understand, this works for our dog. In no way are we saying buy the food we buy or do what we do. You asked us what we do, and we're telling you as far as flea and tick control, Dixie does not use anything. She doesn't go outside, she doesn't like grass. If you see Dixie outside, any picture, she's on our lawn furniture. She goes out, she does her business in the yard and then tiptoes back in. Doesn't want anything to do with the outside or rolling around in dirt, not her. And the same thing for Loris. We monitor Loris constantly because he is outside. We're always brushing him and we check for fleas and ticks, nothing. So again, this is what works. For us, let me show you what we do with Laura's to make sure his coat stays clean. This is the glove that we got at the Dollar Tree, and I thought this would be great. Help take some of the fur off of our cat. And as you can see, he just loves it. He's going crazy. And, you know, it actually works, and it's amazing. And then when you're done, you just kind of roll the fur off of it, and you can throw it out. $1.25 for the little glove. 
So I call this the lovey glove. Loris loves to have this done. He just keeps moving around and around. Isn't he the sweetest little boy? So Paul will do that with the lovey glove, as we call it, and then he'll check to make sure there is no eggs, nothing. And Loris has never had fleas. So I have no idea how this cat does it, but he's fine. And when we take him to the vet, she checks. We also don't buy Dixie dog toys. And we've talked about this before. We save a ton of money on that. We play with Dixie. Let me show you. This is Baby. A good dear friend of ours gave us this toy a long time ago for our little dog. She loves it. It goes everywhere. She just destroyed it. She took all the squeakers out except for one. We have to steal it and put it in the wash every now and then. Now what I do is I like to take an old sock toy that she has and I'll put baby inside the sock. Okay, so now baby's inside the sock and look. Now Dixie has to figure out how to get it out of the sock. Always make sure you supervise your dog when they've got toys that could rip apart or choke on, things like that. If you have any more questions about Loris or Dixie Belle, leave them in the comments below and we will be happy to answer them. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna turn this camera around, we're gonna get into the kitchen and make the most delicious fresh mango salsa for around a dollar, if that. I think I'm even being generous. Here we go, let's get in the kitchen. Here's the mango. I washed it first to make sure that when the knife cuts through the skin, it doesn't pick up anything that's on the skin and put it on the fruit where you're actually eating. We don't know what's on the mango. What I like to do is the shape of the mango is very interesting. It actually has a flat pit inside. So what I do is I line up the mango so that it's bulging forward and backwards of me. So it's bulging this way and bulging this way. I take the knife and carefully cut straight down. Gently feeling the pit, moving the knife, and there it is. Let's do this side. Perfect. You can see the pit is actually a flat looking pit. Don't throw that out, that's got a lot of meat still on it. So I take the half of mango here and I just score with my knife down along the fruit but I try not to go through the skin. Just make a couple cuts. Now, I take the mango and I turn it inside out. Just like that. Little porcupine. <laughs> yeah, look at that. And now I'll take it over to my container and take my knife and just make some cuts. And they fall right into the container for everyone to enjoy. No waste here at all. Let's begin to make our chunky mango salsa. Here we have the two mangoes that Paul just showed you how to cut up. They were on sale for 49 cents a piece at ShopRite. Now is the time for mangoes. They're in season, they're low price, and they are delicious. To the mangoes. We are going to add, this is about a quarter cup of finely chopped onion. This is a heaping, I would say, tablespoon of fresh cilantro. And then Paul took one jalapeno pepper and he removed the seeds, the stem, and diced it. Make sure you remove those seeds because that's where the heat is. And then I cut in quarters eight of our cherry tomatoes from the garden. They're just beautiful and fresh. I thought that would really add something. And we're just going to take this and we're going to add it right to our mango. That cilantro is so strong, I can smell it. You can add more mango. You can add whatever you want to this. You want it to just have that freshness. This was a Saturday sampler freebie from Acme the other day. So I am going to use it. I know fresh lime juice would be ideal, 
But this is what we have right now. So we are just going to put a little tiny bit of this. It's just pure lime juice from concentrate. I gave it a good shake. Now I am just going to put maybe a couple drops. There we go. And now I'm going to, oh, I can smell that now as well. Now the trick with this is we have to let these flavors settle. So we're going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator at least for a couple of hours. And then we're going to give it a taste. We'll let you know what we think. We just piled this salsa on a corn chip. And Paul is going to give this a taste. Look at the colors. Look at the vibrancy of this. Honestly, how about on a fish taco? All right, we're going to let Paul give it a taste. Uh, here we go. A fresh mango salsa. Let's try this out. You get the sweetness of the mango. You get the heat of the pepper. The onion, the cilantro is just a fresh flavor. This is great. This is a real fresh dip. Easy to make. It's great. This is delicious. So Paul approved. <laughs> it was so good. Oh my goodness. Fresh tasting. Use it on tacos, whether it's a meat taco or fish taco. We ate it fresh with some chips. You could put it over a piece of pork. I'm not kidding. It was so good. I personally think there was a little too much jalapeno. I would have probably used half a one only because of the heat. Even though you take the seeds out, it is still spicy. The freshness, the melding of those flavors was top notch. So save a little money, make your own gourmet salsa. The next segment we're going to show you is of my niece, Natanya, and myself. She came over and we had a girl's day and it was so much fun. We were having my aunt's 100th birthday party and she said, let me give you a gel manicure, Aunt Annie. You have everything, let me come over and do it. I am going to show you how simple this gel manicure was. She treated me by doing it for me, but you can do it yourself. I will show you the light I used to cure my nails. I did buy that off of Amazon. I think I paid $30 if that. It was a while ago. Just remember, when you do a gel manicure at home, you need to use a top coat and a bottom coat made for gel manicures. You can't just use any top and bottom coat. And the polish also has to be gel polish. I do not do gel all the time because it is rough to take off. You have to use a special gel nail polish remover. On a normal basis, I will use Essie, E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, nail polish, which is just regular nail polish, but it lasts a while and it does come in beautiful colors, costs a little more, but sometimes CVS will have coupons and sales on them. Ever had a gel manicure at a nail salon? They are upwards $30, $40 each time. Well, my whole kit, I think, costs that. And I can have gel manicure after gel manicure in the privacy and cleanliness of my own home. So let's turn this camera around and we'll show you what we did. This is my niece, Natanya. You have all met her so many times in videos and we are having a total girl day. She is going to now do my nails for me. We're gonna do a gel manicure. She's gonna show you how quick and easy it is. We did a video like this, I think like two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. About it's mm -hmm. been a while. So we thought we'd come back on and just share some time with you. So let's get to this manicure. Hi everyone. So today I am doing a gel manicure for my aunt and we always start with a base coat because if you just do regular coat without the base it's not going to stay. A tip for gel is that you always do a thin layer. Don't get tempted by doing thick because thick won't dry. So I'm going to take her nails and I'm just going to go right up to the cuticle and do a really thin layer. Bottom coat is for gel. Okay, it's yep. not a regular bottom it's coat. It's not regular. It only can go for gel. And you have to cure it when you're done. So you can't put the color on top of this until it's under the light. So now we 
have to cure her nails because I did the base coat. So I'm going to do it for about 60 seconds. All LED lights can be different. This one has a timer for 60. Some have a digital timer on it where it counts it down. But when this is done, the light will go off. So we'll just wait until the 60 seconds are up and then I'll do her color. So the light went off and now you can see it's kind of shiny a little bit and that means that it's cured. So we picked a pale pink today for uh, her nails. Another tip I have is not to go right up against the cuticle because it will peel quicker. So I like to leave just a little bit of space at the very, very end. So I did the first coat of her color and it's very pale pink, but when we do the second color, it'll be a little brighter. So we'll go under the light for about 60 seconds. When it's finished, the light will go off and you do a second coat of the same color. So we did the first coat and now I'm going to do the second coat. You finish the last cure of the color. So now we're going to put the top coat on. When we're all done, I recommend putting cream on your hands just to help lock in some moisture and nourishment. Okay, hand number one is done. Look at this. I think it looks great. This is such a gentle, soft pink. I love so it. Perfect for summer. Yeah, it is. I love it. Super pretty. Okay, we're not going to bore you with the next hand, but I'll show you when they're both done. Wasn't that a lovely color? It was just perfect for Aunt Anna's party and it's still going strong. No chips, no nothing, I love it. Always check for allergies when you put on any kind of new polish, especially gel. You wanna be careful of that. Our question of the day is, how do you save money on your pets and how do you save money? Gourmet foods or fancy foods do you make at home that you know are cheaper? You tell us what you do. And I'm sure those hints and tips will be helpful to not only us, but our viewers as well. And we thank you in advance for that. Now, I want to take a second to thank each and every one of you who sent a written card to my aunt, who emailed me, who DM'd me over on Instagram to wish her a happy birthday. It was so appreciated. We ended up with three stacks. We had to put them in stacks of beautiful 100th birthday cards that you all sent my aunt. Thank you so much. I didn't want to interview her too much for the channel because it was her special day and people had come from everywhere and it wasn't the time or the place to question her about what made her so healthy and happy it wasn't the right time. I, but I will share a picture Paul took of her and I at the party. She is so with it. That's all I can say. She walked in, she ate everything. <laughs> She's just amazing. And wait till you see how beautiful she is. So we thank you for sharing this time with us. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please come on in and hit that subscription notice. Ring that notification bell, that little bell, just click and hold and go to all videos so you can see our videos as soon as they come out. Ask you to stay well, we ask you to be safe. And above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video. like mom and daughters or best friends or whatever, you'll go to a salon and have it done. Number one, we are saving 30 bucks right off the pop because I've had this stuff for a long time. 